We got ourselves gonna be Christ Bad, Saru Y, Sham, Stomp, all taking a bit of damage, and it's gonna be out on the team, but looks like Christ is gonna open up on my Derek, trying to see if he can blow that man up. And act like he don't know nobody. Got himself a dark bag getting burnt through very, very quickly. It's gonna be a second to swap out. I don't know if second Crisbad even had a second since it's ready. He's gonna try to go for a bit of a blade as Dirks got himself shadow blades. Gonna be the second to see. Guys, but trying to see if we can maybe take down Dirks. Gonna be open up all the portals as the second was holding him on. Fear to follow. It's gonna be Vanish so trying to see if he can escape the portals. Rain of Fire is gonna get him out in the open, but it's gonna be a shadow stick to put him back out. The portal is gonna go back to just turning down the rogue. Crisbad may be in a bit of a tight spot. Got him so a big heal. I think a Soulburn Hellstone potentially. Dirk still holding on to a Cloak of Shadows. Just trying to see if he can break through Crisbad with Shadow Strikes by itself. Shadow Fury, Cloak of Shadows. Got him so big fort. Does he have some more mobility? Crisbad could be in a bit of trouble. Main to pop wall here. Got him so massive umlid. Does he have some a big go versus Dirk? He's got himself instant cast to That could be massive here. Dropping in Rain of Fire. Does he have a big burn? Dirk is going to try to see if he can vanish and walk out of there scot free. Shadow Strike. Kidney shot. Crisbad has a trigger for it. Mortal call into Dirks. Immolate right after. Death Sam the big burn. Massive incinerate one. Call for grade two. And Dirks with a cheat death right after. Blind and Crisbad is a succubus anywhere. Oh, he does burn to the dot. Oh my goodness. That one shot. It's not exactly like a one bang, one global combo, but it is pretty close. My goodness. <laughs> Destro Warlocks right now, man. Skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skill. Yep. Yep. Somebody in my guild said, you know what? I think Warlock is literally the main protagonist of World of Warcraft if WoW was an anime. And I think they were right. You guys are literally the Isekai protagonist. <laughs> my goodness. Christ, man, does end up showing boys how bad of a Destro Warlock he can be. Oh, my God. Holy Jesus. Oh, no. This man just found God. Met him for a second to say, nope, I'm, I, li I like it here. I want to stay on this plane of existence for a little bit. Thank you. This guy still have, has one more incinerate. This man is crazy. Oh, wait, two more. He has two of these orbs around him. Jesus. Blind into cries. Got him some big shields. Going to be dark back rotating. Just sitting in that blind the entire time. Immolate as the CC comes out. Is there a way to stop that man? Holy could potentially just leave this. One incinerate. Does he have a second one? Oh, my goodness. Surprise so whenever he gets hit by Holy. There's a chance the Holy's abilities will make your next incinerate instant cast, and he just gets a fat incinerate with a decimating bolt. And after Christbad spends soul shards, it also buffs the damage of that incinerate by 30% on top of it. Mortal Calm, does he have a big incinerate? Oh my god. It just creeps up on you and then explodes, erupts. Desert Warlocks, man. I didn't realize that we're gonna be this kind of one shotty skill. Exactly. Exactly, yeah, I agree. Skill, skill, skill. I mean, <laughs> is it skill to combine these combos together? To some degree. Is it skillful to click talents together? <laughs> I guess. It is a hell of a combo, though. Well, Bliss thought this was a good idea. Because they're basically taking the PvE version of Destrum and they're just putting it into PvP. I know it's pre patched, so there's no point of like tuning it. But I would, I, I'm kind of surprised they didn't just tune it, you know what I mean? They started nerfing classes recently on some AoE. And now, but they're kind of letting this run rampant. It's interesting. Decimate Bolt on to Kevin Slime? Oh, cries bad. Set it up a Decimate Bolt ahead of time. Frostbolt better be careful. If Frostbolt steals the Empowered Incinerator, does he get the strongest Incinerator as well? Or does he just get like the Depowered Incinerate version? Does he get the base version? I do wonder. If you're into Frostbolt, try to see if you can walk him outside of the dome. Try to see if we can walk away from the guy. Frostboss has an interpret case he's used to. Big incinerate. Gonna just put him back. Oh my. Two shot him. Jesus. Literally two shot him. And the only person that can stop a warlock is another warlock. A soul is gonna be up next. Try to see if he can get some pets over there versus Cry's bad. Infernal literally slamming down immediately. Does Cry have a bad incinerate? He needs another decimate bolt setup. So you may be able to get one of these demon dogs low enough in that execute. The harder decimate bolt hits, the harder the incinerate hits. And if you hit an enemy with lower health, Decimate Bolt hits harder. So it empowers the damage and incinerate harder. Mortal Coil is going to be tricky for Scribes, but it will stun immediately. Decimate Bolt out for Soul. May just have himself the biggest combo here. Scribes Bad needs himself another Decimate Bolt. So I don't think he's ever been able to establish on one of those pets. He needs to get one of the pets low, but it's going to find him to control Soul. He's surrounded by the demonic army. There's only so much he can really do about it. Try to go for Decimate Bolt. No interrupts. Actually, find a burst. Cap, try to see Soul. Try to see if he can back up out of there. Does get himself a shield. Going to be reflected for Scribes Bad. Get himself also a dark pack as well. Try to go for a few on the main pet. Going to be interrupted. 
At some point, he does need to get a CC onto Soul. Massive incinerate one, getting on Sister Cast Prox. Soul having to back up out of there immediately. And Christman waiting out until he can go for another incinerate. He will potentially have an instant cast right now, in fact. I think he's trying to go for a bit more to call onto Soul, but Soul backs up out of there. So going for a big gateway, uses the Soul burn in order to get to him. Does he get a big burn? Does he go for incinerate one? Does he get a second one potentially? He needs a second one to end it. Soul trying to see if he can control him as best as he can. Got a decimate bolt of his own, but oh my god. Can Huge stop this man? He does have a ground and totem, so if you ground and totem at the right time, could potentially give yourself a way to, uh, uh, to get out away from the... Um, a way out of the situation we got burned up by incinerates. Jesus Christ. Yo, so you may have to play some uh, Duster yourself, my guy. <laughs> Cry is actually focusing on that Infernal. Or not Infernal. Fire Elemental. If he gets the fire early low enough and hits with the Duster Money, he could literally get a one shot. I think that's what he's trying to go for. Lasso by Huge. Trying to see if he can prevent that as best as he can. But it's going to be a trusty Felguard there. It looks like Huge is actually going to remove it. The fire elemental out of the game entirely. Crazy just opened up all the portals on the huge. Got himself that astral shift to try to reduce the damage taken. Mordekal, Decimate Bolt has a quick wind shear interrupt for it, but huge still is under a ton of pressure. Not much you can really do about this. He's having to go for a bit of a heal behind the pillar. 30% damage but it's going to make it a little bit harder to recover. I think you potentially could play into a playstyle where he just doesn't let Crazy play the game at all. Crazy is playing into a a normal felt dog. He's playing into a felt puppy. And actually, huge together with his lava burst could just poke around the corner, blast out Christ's bed, and potentially survive him. Because those lava bursts are putting in work, they are putting in pressure. He's also playing that night phase, so it could maybe be some good cooldowns out of him. He's swapping out to a succubus, hoping to maybe go for a bit of CC. If huge can maybe prevent the succubus ahead of time, he may be in a decent spot. Is teen succubus? Got it interrupted, but now huge has two targets he got to interrupt. He got to control Christ's bed while trying to prevent the succubus from CC him as best as he can. Dark pack for Kreis, huge just goes behind the pillar, gonna be a port for the warlock, more to call to follow, does huge have anything here, may need to go for a great, uh, grounding totem, it's gonna be Kreis just going for back to back fears, huge does drop down a grounding totem, this is gonna go into decimate bolt, decimate bolt the grounding, does it still give him big incinerates though? Oh it does, even though it goes into grounding totem, there it is, <laughs> alright, <laughs> okay, <laughs> 65k instant incinerates. Yup. Yup. <laughs> and like depending on how geared you are, some players already have like in season four a hundred thousand health. So that's if you are under geared, most of your health is burned with that incinerate. If you are geared, still most of your health is burned with that incinerate. It's still a massive hit. I am I'm sure this is fun for Duster Warlocks, but I'm very surprised. Like, that seems criminally big number. Like, criminally big numbers for PvP. I am very surprised.